So today I have my last appointment. Um, it's currently seven, but I've been up since like five and my pelvic pains have been through the roof this morning. I've not gotten any sleep. Um, yeah, I just feel, yesterday I felt really like weird, as I mentioned. Um, and then yeah, earlier this morning around five o'clock, I just felt like these weird, I would say they felt, felt like contractions, but it was just like my pelvic pain. So from five onwards, I was like squeezing wool and everything. And then I finally got like half an hour sleep, but wool left um, at six. I've been up. Um, I just made Ava in that breakfast. Mum's in the lounge room because obviously I have to leave this morning for eight o'clock appointment at the hospital. Um, so I'm about to quickly get changed, make my bed, and then I'm off to my last appointment. And I'm super excited, but what I'm most looking forward to today is asking about restrictions. So with us coming out of a seven day lockdown, and I just got a message saying that my hospital is a high risk location. It's, it's not like a hotspot, but it's just like a high risk location. So um, yeah, that could affect the girls visiting the baby on the day. And it might come down to the fact that the girls just don't meet her until we come home the following week, but we just FaceTime, which I don't know how I'm gonna feel about that because I really want them to meet. But um, we'll see, like we'll just play it by ear, make sure we're following all the rules and like everything is safe before like we do that because like yeah the hospitals have been really strict lately but anyways enough of me talking i'm going to get ready because i need to go and uh yeah i'm really feeling it today guys really really feeling it today so exhausted can i please get a mighty ming muffin meal with a cappuccino and two sugars yep what time um, just a medium, thanks. I meant to eat at home, but Wall gave me cash and I can't pay for parking with a big $50 note, so I'm breaking it. Thank you. Mama got her coffee and we are en route to the hospital. I've still got a bit of time left, um, but I'm going to go and park across from the hospital just because... I know that there's not going to be any parks where I normally park, so this is going to be very interesting. I'm going to have to climb through my passenger seat to get to the driver's seat because some idiot has parked super fucking close to me and I cannot even get through with this bump. Really? Really? <sighs> So right now, I'm about to go and look at a bassinet. The bassinet that I actually wanted was on pre-order. So I messaged her and I was like, hey, like this is the one I want. Um, I totally forgot to put a reminder in my phone and they went like that. So the next day I messaged her and I was like, hey, do you still have the bassinet? And she's like, oh my gosh, like I totally forgot. They sold and I was just like, it's fine. So I've had to find something. Um, local here in Adelaide that does rattan bassinets and I found this um, Instagram page and the store is called palm tree underscore living and they're here in Adelaide so that's what they look like it's very similar to the one that I wanted but it's not the same but because I'm on a really tight time frame um, it's just going to have to do, if that makes sense. So I'm going to go have a look. She said that her mum is there at the moment. Um, her and her mum obviously run this business here in Adelaide. If you guys live in Adelaide and you love rattan furniture or rattan products, um, palm tree living. And it says it's going to be 17 minutes, which is great. Cool, babe. My belly looks so huge from this point of view. I feel so huge myself. Hey Ben, back to me. Um, take it easy. If your waters break, um, you have to go in for an emergency.
Hello. Mum just left and I went and took Wall some lunch before coming home. It's like 12, 12.30 currently. Um, I went and had a look at the bassinet after my hospital appointment, like I said, and it is so much better in real life than it is like in photos. Like it looks stunning in photos, but then seeing it in real life, I'm just like, <sighs> I'm picking up the bassinet tomorrow. Um, tomorrow early morning, fingers crossed, because I know she's really busy with orders and that. So I'm going to hopefully go in early and pick that up. But yeah, right now the girls are painting. That's why they're super quiet. And I am just about to um, clean up. I cleaned all my cupboards. And I just went into this weird obsession last night to clean everything. I changed everything to make it more, I guess accessible and easier for wall when he's home because the girls are staying at my parents house for the whole week um, and they're just going to alternate between my nonna and my mom this is what my cupboards are looking like currently i just like moved everything to make it a little bit more accommodating this is what it's looking like i'm not going to do a food shop just because i'm not going to be here for the week so there's no real big point but yeah these are all the kids snacks like all back there okay, i'm gonna tackle the lounge room so there's just so many toys and rubbish underneath the couch you know if you have kids you know exactly what i'm talking about but yeah there's little figures under here i need to wipe this whole back wall and the same thing with the tv unit i need to like clean all under there because it's just annoying me when i sit down i can like see all the little toys so that's my job today. Um, the girls over here, they're currently painting. So mum brought them all this stuff last night and they've been wanting to paint. So mum said when I come home, they can paint. So mum's left and now they're painting. They did their homework. Did you guys do your schooling this morning? Yeah. yeah. We watched TV and we did painting. And now you're doing painting. So this is going to probably keep them occupied for a little bit. And hopefully I can just like chuck all these like vlogs up. But I hope you guys are liking them so far. Let's get into deep cleaning. but I've just finished cleaning it is almost two o'clock this time is ahead an hour because I just haven't changed it but anyways um yeah we've been cleaning for the past hour the girls have been helping me which is great um so I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like now I was gonna have to put back the rug once I've finished cleaning it I get into this cleaning mode it like motivates Ava to do the exact same and Natalina just kind of just does here and there so she's folding up all the blankets now um, that my mum used and she's putting them back where they belong so I don't know if you can see that one there it's a um, My Little Pony and Ava's folding all of those up but anyways this is what the lounge room is now looking like I just moved all the plants across because I'm going to get the mirror and put it here wiped everything down I ended up moving the lamp here I just need to put it behind the rugs out there and this is kind of what the living room is looking like I'm washing all the um, cushions that's why there's nothing on there but yeah all the cushions are getting washed this is the girls painting well Ava's painting again I just feel so much better that it's cleaned and it's just done so my next chore is the laundry I just need to move the washing machine and like clean everything um and just reorganize the bathroom but that's it that's honestly it and um I'll do the girls bedroom tonight because it's an absolute bomb I've just chucked everything in there yeah it's okay 
It's been a few hours since I picked up the camera last because I just had like a big winding down moment. I put my feet up, just really relaxed for the um, last couple hours. So um, we're going to go to my nonna's room because it's my brother's birthday. So the girls want to make a card for him. So they're going to draw um, a happy birthday card. Um, and then we're going to wait for Wall to come home. And then we're all going to go together. Ava's over here building something i just took some photos and posted some on instagram um so make sure you guys go over and follow me on instagram the link is always in the bio if you're not why aren't you but yeah i'm about to bring in this carpet and um put it somewhere so the wall can like rearrange it and natalina's is playing what, what are you playing with darling yeah what is it it's a dinosaur your dinosaur yeah, she's oh. just going around here. She's just going around? While everyone is sort of entertained, I'm going to make myself some avocado on toast and have a massive glass of orange juice, even though we just ate like 20 odd minutes ago. But I'm going to do this while the girls make uh, my brother their birthday cards. And then hopefully by then we should be ready to go. We well, should be home soon anyway, so... Is that Nana's house? No. sister and my nonna um, and I also picked up the bassinet as you guys will quickly see girls are over here relaxing got my laptop out to edit and just put the bassinet in our room so freaking excited and cannot believe there's gonna be a little baby in here this is where she's gonna be I might just go get some blankets and that take off this and like dress it up a little bit but I'm so freaking excited for her I've left everything super late like the bassinet and just the pram um, but yeah I just looking at it makes it just so much more real I'm about to redo my bed because we'll put in the blanket in the bedspread and it's like the wrong way so now I have to take it all the way out and he did it inside out so I'm gonna have to redo that we just wait for the baby so yeah I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna start making some dinner it's 3 30 um, but yeah I'm gonna start because we eat at 6 um, and then I just need to put away the washing which is just all the towels that need to be done but yeah, and I think I might just go have a really hot shower, bath the girls. I actually need to do the girls' hair tonight. So that is a definite must because, yeah, they're going to mum's for a whole, like, just over a week. Um, they go tomorrow night, so I need to do their hair. Um, that way, like, it's just one less thing I have to worry about, one less thing mum has to worry about. So I'm probably going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys have been loving the vlog so far. Bar. make sure you guys like comment share and subscribe to the channel and yeah baby girl's gonna be here so soon i cannot wait to like like share this whole new chapter because we've never really captured our kids at such a young age to obviously now um so i'm just really keen to like just do this next um, journey so yeah I'm gonna go I'm gonna do the things I need to do around the house but yeah hope you guys have been liking them so far and I'll see you guys in the next one bye guys